Welcome back. This is a follow-up to my bismuth crystals video. And what I'm doing here is using a much larger amount of bismuth, which I have in this pan. And um, I'm heating it up to melting. It's just started to melt, as you can see there at the bottom. Hang on, let me just show you this. Right there. I'm gonna wait till all this melts, but to save time, I'm gonna time lapse through. See you back in a sec. Okay, it's all liquid now, pretty much. And there's a lot of like, semi-solid type of um, sludge, like floating on top of it, which I want to get rid of so I can make good quality crystals. So I'm going to do that right now. Some of this stuff is just basically oxide because the bismuth itself is actually pretty pure. What we're gonna do after this is then turn down the heat and allow it to start crystallizing. So, okay, that's what I'm gonna do right now is turn the heat down quite a bit so it will, it'll start to cool slowly. I've got just bare heat on there and we're going to wait for solid to start forming on the surface. It's been cooling down for a little bit now, so I'm going to pour all the liquid out. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. Here's the bottom of the pan containing multiple crystals, which I'm going to tap out. Okay, this is the stuff I just poured into this um, stainless steel uh, container, and I'm going to pour this out shortly, and I'm going to get some more crystals formed in here. So let's check this out. You can kind of see a solid rim forming around the edges, so that means it's cooling really fast. So this has to be done quickly before the whole thing becomes solid. So let's go ahead and pour this carefully. There we go. Oh, it's hot, so. Bunch of crystals in there. Okay, everything's cooled down. That's uh, the excess liquid that I poured onto this baking foil. Here's some of the crystals that are formed. So here's one of them right there. And then here's another one with a bunch of crystals. And in the pan, everything's cooled down here. And I've got some large crystals in this because I cool this one really slowly. So what I'm gonna do is tap this out of here and then we can take a look at some of these crystals. Here's a close-up of many of the crystals. The crystals came out of this pan real easily. I just turned it upside down and lightly tapped the back. It fell right out. And they're full of crystals, which I can expose by pulling off the edges, like these edges right here. <laughs> 